वेलकम टू अवर चैनल हसलर्स जैन टुडे वी हैव विद अस खुशी करनानी हु इज परसुइंग अ बीटेक इन आईआईटी गुवाहाटी शी इज इन अ थर्ड ईयर एंड हैज मैनेज टू गेट अ समर इंटर्नशिप इन गोल्डमैन सैक्स व्हिच इज अ क्वाइट अ बिग थिंग शी इज टुडे विद अस टू शेयर हर एक्सपीरियंस हाउ शी मैनेज टू गेट द इंटर्नशिप एंड शी इज आल्सो गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड अ रोड मैप फॉर यू गाइस हु आर ट्राइंग टू गेट एन इंटर्नशिप फॉर द एनालिस्ट रोल सो khushidi uh, tell us a little about yourself and how the 3 years at iit guwahati has been for you sure thank you alka for giving this opportunity to address so many people through your channel um okay so i am doing my major in biotechnology and my minor in mathematics from iit guwahati uh and i am currently in maharashtra and uh, coming back to the question where you asked me about my experience in campus so um i had spent only a few months in the campus but it was uh, amazing like the environment the experience it was all worth it like the efforts we put in during je it was all worth it but then everything all the independence that came with it was taken away during the lockdown so that is it uh, for the experience part uh, in campus and um, to give you a brief background about myself um, i developed interest in data analytics through a course that i had taken up after my first year and uh, by the end of second year i was also able to grab a data analyst trainee role uh, in one of the startups known as metro easy okay and uh, currently i'm doing an internship it is a research internship which um, has data analytics to it at cure science which is a us based startup so that was my journey to uh, data analysis yeah so did the uh, building from the first question so uh, from initial days only did you have an interest in this data analyst role or did you try other sites such as st or any other profiles and uh, yeah so continue please uh yeah so uh, initially when i had joined i had uh, no idea about what data scientists to do but then it was quite an interesting field because uh, you know i had heard a lot about it about the scope of the field and things like that so i had to explore it anyway uh and it is not that i uh, did directly data science and uh, thought that yes this is the first thing i do and that is my interest it was not like that i did try to explore i did web development i did uh, machine learning i also did competitive coding a bit like i have a slight background in uh, coding from my school days and also uh, during my 11th and 12th but then uh, somehow i did not find competitive coding uh, to have the taste that i needed you know it was not that interesting so yeah that's why i try to uh, go with data analysis okay that's okay so uh, did the selection in goldman sachs come as a surprise for you or uh, you were quite uh, confident of having nailed the interview no it was definitely a surprise to me and uh, one of the major reasons was that i started you all might know that the ds and algorithm is something which is uh, mandatory for yes. uh, getting an internship or a placement right so uh, what happened is like i started because i had uh, very less interest in competitive coding i started uh, learning ds algo in may and it was like uh, other people uh, had already worked on it for months and they were uh, doing contests and things like the core chef rankings everything was so high and uh, i always thought that i wouldn't because the first round for any company is uh, the coding round I always thought that I was under prepared to even get shortlisted for an interview, so it was completely a surprise. Yeah. So uh, does CP uh, form a very important role for an analyst role, or uh, means a lot of questions related to DS and algo is also asked if you apply for analyst role like we have for SD. uh it actually depends on the company uh what happened in goldman sachs was they actually looked at my background so because all my experiences and a few of my projects as well were all based on data analytics and machine learning in some way so what they did was during the interviews they asked me questions related to that so it it did not involve a lot of competitive programming but i would say that during the coding round you do need uh you know firm basics for the uh, for entering into for getting shortlisted yeah in the coding round so how many questions were given to you and how much time was allotted for uh, solving the questions right for uh, for the gs coding round it was quite uh, different from the other st profile companies that come to college uh, so we have for the written test we had five sections uh, so the first section was a simple coding uh, 
question section. So it was very easy and that could have been done easily. Uh, another section had one hard coding uh, question, which I could not do. Uh, then others were MCQs. Uh, so the MCQs were based on uh, DSA or uh, object oriented programming languages and such. Okay. And there were also questions on probability, statistics, and trigonometry specifically. And another section had HR questions where they asked, where they gave us a situation and asked us to write about like how we would react in such situations. So the uh, coding round here in GS uh, for GS was very dynamic. Like it did not uh, require the knowledge of hardcore coding for to get shortlisted. So that is how I got into it because I told that uh, I wasn't well prepared for coding, right? So yeah. So Didi, coming back to the next question. Uh, uh, yeah. So you said that uh, in analysis role, uh, DS and algo doesn't have that much of an importance. So what are the few important topics that a person applying for analysis should uh, must know for taking the interview? Uh, right. So it is only for GS that I'm saying GS and JPMC, I think they follow this format where they have very dynamic uh, questions even during the coding round. They do not just focus on one thing. Uh, the other topics that people should focus on is probability, statistics, permutation and combination, trigonometry, and people should also, uh, you know, practice puzzles because uh, not for me, but for other, uh, for my friends, GS did ask a lot of puzzles during the interviews and uh, they should also uh, be quick with the aptitude around. And uh, I think basic ML concepts is something which is an added advantage when you're applying for analyst roles. So that's it. So uh, from our next question only. So you mentioned that you did maths minor and your maths minor helped you a lot. Uh, so apart from minor, suppose someone doesn't have any minor in or doesn't have any major role related to analysis. So what are some sources that you would suggest that could help from preparing for such interviews? Uh, okay. So um, see, for the probability and statistics uh, part, I would suggest there's a there's an open course on YouTube uh, from the Harvard University uh, named Stats One One Zero. So it is a very uh, good course if you if you start from basics, it is very nice. Uh, and for practicing probability. I would say that there's a very popular book named 50 Challenging Problems in Probability. It is very good. It is like it has all the interview questions in it. Like everything that is asked is kind of a, you know, combination of the questions that you get in that book. So that is a very important book. And for the puzzles, you can refer to uh, GFG, Geek for Geeks. And uh, for coding, what I did was I was doing interview bit, but people also refer to lead code. Yeah. So um, after you clear the coding round, uh, you are so how many interview rounds were uh, conducted in GS? Uh, okay, so we had three interview rounds. Uh, it actually varied from person to person, but I had three. Uh, so the first interview round was um, a very, very basic round. It was hardly 20, 25 minutes. And uh, what happened there was we started with an introduction and the interviewer seemed quite impressed by it. And I think that was one of the reasons why the interviewer helped me throughout, like wherever I got stuck, he always helped me even without asking. So that is something which is I'm grateful for, <laughs> because if I wouldn't have cleared it, it this wouldn't happen. So um, the basic questions that were asked were they started with a very basic coding question, which is based on recursion. It was very easy to be solved. Uh, then they asked me two questions on probability and uh, a few basic sorting uh, techniques. They asked me to explain one of my favorite sorting techniques. And uh, yeah, that was it for this round. Uh, then for the second round, um, the person had my resume, the interviewer. And um, after my introduction was over, we started with my experience because I had two experiences, as I said, from uh, Metro Easy and Cure Science. So uh, the Metro Easy, uh, the project that I had done under it, that was, like you know very detailed explanation and a very detailed discussion on that project and uh, what they did was not only uh, ask me about how i did the project it was more on the conceptual concepts that i had used and uh, also what were the alternatives that i could have used and why i did not use it so those were the questions and it was quite a long discussion 20 25 minutes and there were also a few questions about uh, designing facebook recommendation systems and things like that yeah so that was for round two. 
uh then for round 3 uh it was actually after my round 2 where the interviewer said that another colleague had to join the interview but then he could not so i would have a very quick round with the uh, another colleague that had to join so now this interviewer was not that pleasant i would say because the first two interviewers helped me a lot during my interview uh so this interview did not let me finish my introduction and uh, immediately jumped onto my project and experiences and then we discussed again uh, everything at length from the second experience that i had at cure science um yeah that was it for the interview rounds anything you want to ask from it so so, so i guess the review uh, does play a very important role uh, if you really want to get the internship so um so what are the things you should keep in mind um if you are trying to get an internship for an analyst role what are the projects uh, do you think it is a very uh, it would be really helpful for uh, the candidates to have in their resume and how okay, many projects so, should they have or uh, yeah yeah uh, so there is no no such limit that the company expects of, expects this much number of projects or something the only thing is that the project should be unique and uh, the way you can make them unique is uh, that by adding even if you are taking projects that many people do what you can do is you can personalize it you can put in extra efforts and do something extra for the project right that will make it unique so you can uh, according to me i think two to three projects will be enough like it is good enough for the resume and another tip that i would give for uh, interviews is that uh, because the person who's interviewing you has your resume and probably has gone through it once before coming to the interview you need to be extremely thorough with whatever you've written in the resume so you should know in and out of the resume that you're doing and in and out of the project which you're going to explain so uh, coming back to the next question so what does the some of the top companies that one should keep in mind while applying for the analysis role according to you um as in uh, data analysis is a very very wide thing right so uh, i am using data analysis for a core internship like internship uh, which involves personalized medicine and things like that data analysis can be used in sports in in every financial domains and everything it can be used so there are no specific companies i would say but then uh, i can say that for freshers if you want to gain experiences you should first try and uh, go into startups try getting internships at startups training programs or anything like that because that would give you a very good experience to discuss during the interviews right um and getting into startups is way more easier than getting into big mncs like this so yeah so uh, so as you said you had done a research internship as well and also another internship in a, a small company before applying for gs uh, so how can one really um, apply for such small uh, startups and all so that uh, like some also uh, do research internship under any professors uh, so what is the process uh, they can follow right uh, so for getting internships you can uh, go on linkedin you can follow people uh, who are in your domain or who are interested in your domain and you'll uh, you'll get connected to uh, many because linkedin is a platform designed for that right so uh, through linkedin you can get there are many other internship portals like internshala where you, you can apply for uh, jobs or internships that you think um, align with your interest um, uh yeah and uh, for the part where the research interns are taken from professors uh, you can directly mail professors from your own institute as well as from institutes uh, away like not your own institute uh, it is actually better to start an uh, internship or a research internship specifically under your own professor because the professors know you right it is your department so uh, that is easier but yes you can mail you can reach out to anyone everyone is ready to help you in that way but that is not the case in mncs right because there's a lengthy procedure you'll have to follow uh, before you apply for an internship which is not the case for startups and that is why i would recommend to go with startups first so what according to you is the future of analysis jobs means should one completely depend on analysis so or should one side by side prepare for hd role also means what will be the job demand in the coming years according to you uh see what according to my uh, point of view what i think is it can be biased because i am interested in data analysis roles 
but uh, what i think is uh, it is a very very uh, wide and it is a huge ocean where we can apply data analysis to right so the data can come from any source it can be financial data it can be research data it can it can come from literally any source so anywhere where there is data you have to analyze it you have to because data is not going to talk by itself right it won't tell you what it means you'll have to understand it and that is the importance of data science and data analysis so uh, i think it does have a huge potential uh, it is not going to saturate so quickly um for sd roles i think it is it is quite dynamic as well but then i do not have much interest or experience in it so i cannot talk about that okay thanks okay the uh, so uh, we come to the end of the interview it was great to have you and uh, it was uh, great for the viewers i also hope uh, they came to know a lot of uh, things how they should prepare for the uh, the data analyst role and uh, details of how they should prepare for the interview as well uh, so uh, thanks again the for uh, sparing time and we would like to conclude here thank Excellent. you thank you for having me here this is all from this video guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel because we really get driven uh, from within to create content for you bring such wonderful people uh, if you subscribe to this channel and share love um, and uh, support the content we are making and uh, comment down below if you would like us to continue this series uh, we will be trying to bring such people who have cracked internship in such big companies and that will provide you a insight on what are the things you should focus on and uh, really provide you a guide map they will be sharing their experience i think um, it will be pretty much great so share it with your friends and help us share the knowledge thank you